Hi there, this is Craig Beck from StopDrinkingExpert.com. Welcome to today's video and thank you very much to Sandra uh, who sent me an email this morning asking me how you deal with relapse. Uh, she's uh, started the program four days ago, uh, said she's loving it, finding it really helpful, but after four days she had one drink and it led to several drinks. So how do you deal with relapse is the question. And there are three answers to this. Um, there's, there's never just one simple answer with these things, is there? The, you see, I don't actually consider what Sandra is describing there as relapse. Uh, and I'll explain why in a minute, but there are, there are three potential areas where you're gonna fall down in this process. Uh, the first one is to do with duration of uh, sobriety. If you start drinking within the first two to three weeks of stopping drinking, this is not really relapse. This is you falling for the, um, the kick from the drug. And now all addictive substances have a kick, a way of applying pressure on you to make you repeat the process. This is how they're addictive. They all have this inbuilt mechanism to force you to do what the drug wants you to do. Now, with alcohol, the kick reaches its peak intensity about 24 hours after you started drinking previously. So this is why you may get to a certain point in the day and you just desperately want to drink because the kick from the drug is reaching its climax and it's applying the most pressure on you. Now, this kick will last about, well, around two weeks, maybe a little bit longer, depending on your body and how you respond to alcohol. And it will slowly get less and less and less over time. But nonetheless, for at least two weeks, it's there. So in Sandra's case, drinking after four days isn't really a relapse. It's just responding to the kick from the drug. And how you beat this is by understanding why it's happening and just toughing it out. Man up, come on, you can do this. Look, if you went to the doctor and they said, you've got something terminal, you're going to die. But if you take these tablets for two weeks, but you don't drink, you'll be fine. Don't you think you could go two weeks? Of course you could. It's just, you just got to get focused on this. You just got to, right, for two weeks, I know the drug's going to try and make me drink. I understand that. And I am going to get tunnel visioned about this and I'm going to, you know, tough it out. So that's the first area of relapse, the first two weeks. And then you've got um, up to six months. Now, up to six months, once you're clear of the kick, you're into the realms of psychology and anchoring and Pavlovian conditioning. This is what you've taught yourself about alcohol. You have taught yourself certain things that are not true. You've told yourself that alcohol helps you relax. We, that's a lie. And you can find other videos on that subject. You've told yourself that alcohol helps you sleep better. That's a lie. You've told yourself that alcohol makes you more confident. It's a lie. And so on and so on and so on. There is not one single benefit to alcohol. So if you drink at some point in the first six months, it's because you still believe there is a benefit to alcohol. Otherwise, you wouldn't do it. You don't do things that you believe have no benefits. Even drinkers don't take heroin. You know, even people who claim they have an addictive personality, which is bullshit, by the way, it doesn't exist, but I'll explain that in a different video. <laughs> even people who say, oh, I'm terrible, I've got an addictive personality, even they don't take heroin. Why? Because they don't see any benefit in it. You know, most people understand at a fundamental, intrinsic level that taking heroin would be terrible for them. It would destroy their lives. And so they just don't do it. They never get the temptation to do it. And the same is true with alcohol once you get it into your belief system that there is no benefit to alcohol. Not one. And as soon as you are 100% sure of that, you believe it as much as you believe in gravity, then you just don't want to drink anymore. It's not a case of you having to force yourself to avoid it or be a good boy or a good girl. You can walk into a party where everyone's having a crazy good time drinking and you still don't want to drink because you see no benefit. So if you drink in the first six months, this is a warning sign that you still believe there is a benefit to alcohol. How do you deal with it? You gotta learn the truth. Sit down and think about why am I drinking? 
How do I know it's time to start drinking? And if it's because I feel stressed, then you need to work very hard on understanding how alcohol pretends to help you deal with stress because it is an illusion. So watch the videos, go on YouTube, find as many videos as you can, read the books, as many great books on the subject as you can, get OCD. I want you to become an alcohol bore. I want this to be your hobby. Learning the truth about alcohol is your passion. You're obsessed with it because my system, my program is a switch. It's not a dial. There's, there's, no, there's no middle ground where you can go, oh, I'll just drink a little bit. Here's the truth. You and I, we spent decades changing the way our brain works. We drank this substance that physically changed our brain. We programmed ourselves so that alcohol lights up our brain like a Christmas tree. We can't drink it anymore. We can never go back to normal drinking. Ever. Now, if that sounds terrible to you, then you still believe there's a benefit to alcohol. There isn't. I can never go back to drinking alcohol ever. And what a wonderful thing that is. This needs to become your obsession. This system is a switch. It is one or zero. There is no middle ground. You can't want to do this a little bit. You can't kind of want to stop drinking. You've got to be, oh my God, I'm stopping drinking. and I don't care what it takes. I am never, ever going back to this. That has got to be your mindset. Now, third and final area of relapse is the most dangerous because this is really going to mess you up if you fall for this. Third area of relapse comes six months longer. So it's normally around one year, to be honest with you, one year, 18 months. And I've mentioned this in previous videos, but it's worth recapping. Once you get kind of one year clear, you look back with rose tinted glasses and you can't quite see with the clarity that you had before just how addicted you were. You can't quite see just how much pain you were in and how miserable you felt every day. You remember it being bad, but it's kind of not as bad as it was because times eased it a little bit. And you also sit there, you know, after one year of not even wanting a drink, thinking, wow, stopping drinking was so easy. And then you start thinking, I wonder if I'm cured. I wonder if I'm fixed. I wonder if I could, I wonder if I could be in control now. And this leads to the most dangerous thing you will ever think in your life. The most lethal words you will ever say to yourself. I wonder if I could just have one drink. Let me tell you, my friend, that one drink will destroy you. It will lead to a self-destructive explosion that will take months, sometimes years to fix. Because here's what happens. You drink one drink and you think, I didn't even like it. I'm cured. Hooray. And then the next day you think, I can probably have another one. You have two drinks and you go, oh, you know what? It wasn't that great. I'm cured. Hooray. And before you know it, you're drinking every day just as much as you were one year previous. And eventually you think, oh, my God, I'm in trouble. Oh, my God, I'm back where I was. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And you go back and you try and do the process again that you used to stop drinking in the first place. But there's a problem. Now you've lost faith in the system. Now you've got doubt. You're thinking maybe the system doesn't work. Maybe it's a scam. Maybe that guy, he just took my money. Maybe, oh, maybe this is just a fake. So instead of having 100% confidence in what I'm telling you, now you have 70% confidence. And it's so much harder to do this when you doubt the system. You got to understand what I'm telling you is the truth. If you have any doubt about this, it makes it harder for you. And to break out of that loop again for a second time is very, very painful. So this might sound a bit doom and gloom, but it's not really because you avoid relapse by understanding when it's coming and how it's going to arrive. Example, imagine one Tuesday you're driving down the highway and some idiot switches lanes and crashes straight into you, totals your car, puts you in hospital. Now, 
Imagine the same situation, but one week prior, a little magic genie came up to you and said, be careful next Tuesday when you're driving on the highway. Something bad is going to happen. Now, could you still have the accident? Of course you could, but your chances of avoiding it are much better. If you're that Tuesday, or you're now driving around like this. Where's this idiot? Where's this idiot coming from? Where's this idiot? And with this information in your head, about relapse. This is how you are now. You're like, where's this relapse? Where is, ah, there you are. There you are. Okay, let's avoid you. So this whole process is a, is a understanding of the truth. And I really hope you've watched this video at the right point, not after a relapse. And it's given you the kind of the knowledge and the information to use in the future. Thank you for watching. Any questions, any comments, any suggestions? Is there something you're struggling with right now? Drop me a message or post a comment below and I will do my best to make you a video. My name's Craig Beck from StopDrinkingExpert.com. Thank you for watching. See you soon.